Alrighty, so I just faced a team that was using Gother and Albedo with Futoria, and I actually thought that that was pretty interesting. The only issue I can really see with it is that you're not going to crit uh, the entire enemy team without throwing Futoria's card out, which means that you're not going to be able to get your Sharp Claws nearly as easily. Um, so that could maybe be a potential problem here, but ranking up her cards and stuff like that is really compelling. And the Albedo is, is pretty cool as well. This is literally the guy that I faced a second ago. His CC is quite a bit better than mine. So I'm probably uh, done for here. So we do get the, the turn two, or the two turn taunt, which might be okay. I'm not too sure on that. Uh, he does have Nanashi buffs on these two. He's more than likely going to taunt turn one. Uh, I actually am not sure what my best case scenario here is. Because I could go for, like, the level three taunt, maybe. That turn one damage is so broken. That is, that is ridiculous, actually. Okay, so he's going to give me some stacks here. Uh, I think... We go with this into... I have to attack, unfortunately, or else I'm going to get the damage taken increase. So I think we just throw the AoE with Fitoria to get her Sharp Claws, because this should still crit everyone. And then maybe we can set up for turn two. The unfortunate part is that I've already taken a bit of damage. We actually healed a, a bit there, which is good. I'm scared of his own Fitoria um, AoEs. So, I do get double rank up, so we might actually be able to go straight into a big AoE here. This could be really good, but I assume he's going for an AoE as well. Um, I think I'm... I think I'm dead, Zo. Bye-bye. Yep, that's an AoE. Unfortunate. That was what I was going to do to him, so I can't really say much. It's unfortunate that uh, it is a CC race again. There is not a whole lot of go second, still win kind of teams uh, in the meta right now. Alright, what do we got? Okay, human team without Arthur. Very low CC, unfortunately, so I'm going to feel bad about this one. Um... I'm going to go for the, the rank up on everyone. That might be a bit of an odd play, and I'm not attacking, so I'm not going to get any Sharp Claws here, unless he triple attacks, which he doesn't have anything other than attacks, so unless he just moves cards around. But the odds of me critting are going to be hit or miss, I think. Okay, we do crit there. Does that give me the, the Sharp Claws, though? I actually don't know if it does. Uh... Can we crit her? We do crit her. Okay. So does that give me the sharp claws, though, is the question. It does not, actually. Okay. Never mind. For some reason, I was under the assumption that that would give me sharp claws. Uh, I'm actually not as worried about Escanor. So let's go for this. Actually, we need to use the Fitoria card first. So let's go for something like this. Because I think this might actually end up killing the... Uh, like, the AoE is probably going to end up killing the Roxy regardless. Oh, we have good attack related. That almost killed, which is kind of funny. Can this kill Escanor, though, is the question. Nah, not quite. Okay, pretty good, though. He's still disabled, so unless he pushes for an ultimate here and gets debuff immunity, uh, we won't have too many issues there. We do have Sharp Claws, so we're going to gain Queen Strike, uh, which means that the single target should hit pretty hard. But I think it's actually... Damn, I think it's actually preferred to have the Sharp Claws stacks over uh, the other one. Or over the... Well, maybe I guess having both is the ideal scenario, but either way. Uh, if this crits, we'll at least gain one Sharp Claws. No crits there. Okay, very very cool. He's debuff immune, so... Okay, still crits, so that's going to give me one stack for the second hit here, which will hopefully kill Escanor, because... They did not do any damage to Albedo. Okay, so, I mean, the CC on that was incredibly low, so I'm not actually <laughs> impressed by anything there. Let me grab a couple more tickets, and we'll see what else we can get into. All right, what do we got? Ugh, okay, Demon Team with Melee. I'm not a big fan of facing Melees, of course. 
Uh, silver lining, though, is that we do have... I'm going to use this. I'm probably going to regret it. Um, I, I just want to get a little bit of uh, Sharp Claws on. Maybe the single target. Well, I guess it's going to reset our Sharp Claws, so unless we draw another... Okay. Uh, wasn't... I <laughs> wasn't really expecting all that turn one. <laughs> that was a bit that was a bit excessive. Um good little counter there. We do have Nanashi buffs on Albedo, so we've got the extra buffs, which is great. Uh if he uses the AoE here with Melly Which he doesn't, uh he could have stance cancelled me here and then didn't have to worry about the counter, but Almost kills the Gelda there, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll be honest, I think at this point, we can just single target the, <laughs> the entire team. Uh, so, level 2 to get rid of the darkness stacks. 641, okay. Level 1 against the Gelda. 445, okay. She, uh, Melly doesn't have any stacks yet, so... 661 uh <laughs> a bit a bit much i think <laughs> she's quite crazy uh you know i mean obviously you're gonna need to go first if you want to get any sort of like crazy stuff going on the fact that we had the extra attack related stats from albedo's passive also does go a long way there so it is a little bit um maybe weighted in our favor because going first, having the Albedo like lose her stance, you get the 20% attack related. Then going in, if you have Queen Strike already, like uh, you know that's a lot of damage. So pretty cool match. All right, okay, we have another Demon team. Uh, it is with uh, Demon King though, which could be a little interesting. I'm not actually too sure. I think we're gonna go for the two turn taunt here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to grab the Sharp Claws anyway. I don't really like doing it like this, but with this team setup, I don't have another good AoE that I can use to crit the enemy and then gain my Sharp Claws. I did like using Hell for that, because Hell is, you know, a festival level character, a pretty good crit chance and everything, uh, so I do have that sort of advantage there. But with this team, you know, like if I don't draw the extra... AoE, then I'm a, I'm a little bit more single target focused, which isn't necessarily a big issue, but, um, you know, not really what you want. You, you want to see those big, crazy, you know, uh, AoE sort of cards with Vitoria more than anything, but it's fine. Uh, we can go for the upgrade onto her at this point, and then I think we'll just try to take out... Both of the side characters will sit on that extra single target from her because I think I think Albedo should be able to kill the Gelda here with the stacks that we have, and then Demon King is gonna pop stats if I'm not mistaken, and then we can use the maybe rank up and go for a gold card to just one shot him since he loses his damage cap. So there's the all stat increase. He does have some high level cards, but I would imagine he's not gonna be able to kill me. This is a really hefty single target, though. Okay, yeah, we tank that, and then the counter kills him anyway. So, um, not really <laughs> the result I was I was wanting, but uh, let's go for... He has the defense related on. We have a lot of attack related with her, actually. I don't think we'll kill with the Albedo. I want to grab the extra Hone, or Sharp Claws. I keep saying Hone Claws. Uh, I want to grab the extra Sharp Claws and see what three... Three Sharp Claws with uh, Queen Strike will do here. So we have max stacks, basically, of everything. Level 3, single target. 1.3 million. Okay, I was like, hmm, that number's kind of weird looking. <laughs> I mean, it's against the Nanashi, so it's not incredibly impressive. But he did actually have his defense-related stats on, so... <sighs> that number is, uh... Crazy. Alright, we finally get another real player. There was quite a bit of loading on this one. Uh, ooh, okay, we do out CC, which is good. Uh, ooh, good single target as well. I, I'll be honest, I kind of like... Like, just bursting with the single targets here. 
So I think we're gonna rank up, use the level 2 right out of the gate, because we're not debuffing or anything with this team, which is really good against the melees, of course. Uh, we have really good single targets in hand. And, I mean, we've already seen that uh, we can kind of tank. Oh, my God. Estorosa, turn one. I mean, Estorosa's kind of weak, but... Oof. I I gotta say, I'm not gonna blame him whatsoever for forfeiting there. That is... It's, it's, a, it's a lot. It really is. Okay. I think we might have another real player to end things off here, which is cool. Uh, 335 is a bit low. Okay, he's in champ 4, so maybe that explains it. Um, let's go for, let's try to save the AoE this time. Well, there's no way for me to get my, yeah, we're going to save the AoE. We'll try to use the AoE this time instead. If I can get like a double rank up, go for like a big AoE, uh, that could be kind of cool. I figured it was probably going to be evasion food. Uh, we do put a debuff on, which Melly does cleanse off, which is not ideal. But we should lose the Albedo stance, gain the attack related, double upgrade into an AoE, and then hopefully that will, I mean, it sh hopefully it kills both of these characters off. It would be nice if he double attacked with uh, DK, and like if he, if he somehow got him below 50%, that could be ideal. Pretty good damage there from the melee, and he does have the Nanashi debuffs on, or buffs on, so... Luckily, we can cleanse Vitoria with the uh, the rank up. I tend to forget that this does cleanse, which I, you know, if I wanted to cleanse everybody, I could have merged that for a level two, but the level three AoE is probably going to be worth having. So this, will it kill both of the other characters off? It does. 1.4 mil, and that's with him having a damage cap on. I don't know that that was forfeit worthy just yet. He could have top decked a really good hand with Demon King and killed Fitoria off. And then depending on how the cards went and everything, I might not have been able to kill him with Albedo if he played it smart enough. But I can't really say much. Um, the rank up with Fitoria actually pretty insane. I wasn't really sure how much I was going to like it since you can't get the Sharp Claws stacks very easily with this team, but it actually does work out pretty well even without the Sharp Claws, so I do like that quite a bit. Um, nice to see, you know, Gother on an unknown team, which is a little bit contrary to his passive. You know, you, you kind of want to run him with different races on the Sins team, but uh, I think that's actually pretty neat, you know, getting a little bit of use. Honestly, just rank ups in general are just incredibly strong, so uh, it makes some sense, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. A little bit of a shorter one, uh, but uh, I've got to start padding out videos and stuff for next week since I'm going out of town. So, uh, I don't know. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.